And here you can see the importance of that hollow core. You've got a horizontal core and a vertical core, and that allows us, to, in the field, we start building it back up. Whatever weight we save by not having concrete in there, we now build it back up by using gravel back into that hollow core. And now we build up the weight from tw about 1,400 pounds. We build up the weight back to 2,200 pounds per unit by just putting gravel into that area. It also provides us with a really good drainage chimney, a place where all the, we can control our gravel and we can have all our water. If it does get back into that reinforced zone, it can seep between each one of the pie-shaped areas into that drainage area, and it gives us a really good control on our drainage system. The other thing is, in a solid system, and if you've ever seen some of it, uh, fluorescence, anybody seen some that chalk, that chalk, um, chalky stuff coming out of the block? That's a process of curing, and it cures to the surface of the concrete. And with a hollow core, we have a lot more surfaces of curing uh, opportunity for the concrete to cure to, and so we have a lot less afflorescence in a hollow core versus solid system, especially if you have a lot of water sitting in your wall. You'll have a solid wall product and the water will be, get captured between the units and you have a lot more opportunity for afflorescence during the, the, uh, uh, the, the wall's uh, construction. So that's what one of the advantages over a hollow, uh, hollow core versus a solid system. And all of our drain pipes, perforated PVC pipe, run inside the horizontal core as well, rather than behind the wall. And then we bring up our, our uh, on-site fill or select fill right up against the back side of that, that unit. 